Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and with iOS 18.3 being now just days away from being released to the public, a lot of users, of course, in a couple of days will be updating their device to the new iOS 18.3. So before you update, I have a few suggestions for you, a few things that I believe every iPhone user must know before they move on and update their device to the new iOS 18.3, which will most likely be here this Monday or maybe even Tuesday. So let's get started with the first one. Now, first, of course, we're talking about updating. Now, for most people, this will be very simple. You head on to your settings, you go to general right here, your software update, and right here you will find an update for iOS 18.3. But it will be different if you had a beta of iOS 18.3 on your device. So there will be a few different scenarios. Again, if you're on iOS 18.2 or 18.2.1 or any of the other lower versions of iOS 18, you can just update from here right to iOS 18.3 but if you're on any of the betas of ios 18.3 then you should have installed the rc version by now if you didn't then you will get the rc version right here you can just install it it is the same as the public release of ios 18.3 but if you didn't install the rc you can now go to the beta updates and turn them off from here and then right here will get the public release and not the rc version even though they're both the exact same update so you don't need to worry about that you can just go ahead and update from here now, of course, with every update, some really important things are the battery and the performance of the device under that new software update. Now, of course, once you install this update on your device, the first few days, like three, four or five days, you can expect to have a worse battery life, maybe not that good of a performance because of course, iOS 18.3 will need to settle in on your device bef before it starts performing as it should. So here we have the graphics here and the battery here for the last 10 days under iOS 18.3. Now keep in mind that this is a battery with 91% maximum capacity, so it's not a new battery. So right here, with about 120% battery, 10 hours, 40 minutes. Right here, exactly 100% battery, 8 hours, 43 minutes. And right here again, 120% battery, 9 hours, 43 minutes. And you can see the rest of them right here. So it's overall quite a good performance. Not the best ever, but it's actually quite good. Keeping in mind that this is not a new battery, it actually did perform quite decent. Taking a look here at the performance. Now I got a great score with Geekbench 6 here. This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max and this is the score that I got. The single core score at 2,969, which is really good. And the multi-core score even better at 7,451. It's actually a bit better than iOS 18.2 and I'm really glad with this score Previously, on previous betas, I did get a lower score, but with the third beta and then with the RC, I actually have gotten some great scores with Geekbench 6. And now let's just quickly talk about features. As you probably know, this update, even though it's a 0.3, is not that big when it comes to features. Most of the changes will be on the summarized notifications. You have a like small new feature on the calculator app and also Apple Intelligence now actually comes enabled once you have updated your device to iOS 18.3 and the rest of them are just like small updates that Apple has added to iOS 18.3. Now the big features are expected to come with iOS 18.4 which most likely will be released also on the first beta next week but we're going to talk about that in a few minutes here. Now when it comes to features another thing I want to mention is that a feature that you probably have seen on the internet this is not part of iOS 18.3 currently so it is a feature with the screen recording feature here where it would allow you to have like a video overlay a picture in picture of your camera while you actually record or streaming from the screen recording also support for HDR and stereo audio that is also a feature that will come later on to iOS those features are amazing and will improve the screen recording tool a lot as you probably know once Apple has actually released this feature it has been the same since it didn't get any updates but it should be improved with the next updates most likely that will happen on iOS 18.4. But again, if you have seen or read about those features that are not part of iOS 18.3, but they have been spotted in the code and most likely will be part of future updates. 
Now, of course, there will be also bugs on a new software update. Now, here I have a few that I can mention that I'm actually experiencing a lot of them on daily basis this one right here so you can see when i switch between different modes on the home screen some icons won't change especially those on the dock so you can see we have all the icons on the light mode just the settings icon is staying on the dark mode and you can enable or disable the light in the dark mode it doesn't change at all and some of the icons on the home screen sometimes won't go into the dark mode now another thing is the freezing on the screen and usually when i go to the app library sometimes the screen like the touch doesn't respond that's really annoying and another thing is the black screen when opening the camera app so you i had this actually happen on like a few different occasions so when i open the camera app whether that be on the stock camera app of ios or even within an app it would actually show just a black screen just like it hangs right there it would hang like that for like that for a really really long time so that's really annoying so these are some of the bugs that you might expect to happen on your device once you have updated your iphone and that i have experienced myself using ios 18.3 since the first beta and now let's talk about the release date now we have talked about this on a previous video but if you haven't seen that the release date of ios 18.3 most likely will be the 27th of january maybe the 28th but i'm pretty sure 90 percent positive that it will actually happen on the 27th of january usually apple does this they will release a new update like a major update on a monday so i would expect apple to actually do also the same with the new ios 18.3 update now as far as what's next of course ios 18.4 beta 1 should be released really really soon and i wouldn't actually be surprised if apple releases it this next week after the release of ios 18.3 to the public so what i'm thinking here is that if they release ios 18.3 on the 27th the 28th or 29th might be the dates that apple releases the first beta of ios 18.4 which is the big update coming to ios with a lot of new features of course the new series coming with ios 18.4 with a lot of other like improvements and features and also a few other features like the screen recording features most likely will be part of ios 18.4 and all that stuff now of course in the meanwhile between the first beta of ios 18.4 and the release to the public we should have of course like some minor updates that apple will most likely release to ios 18.3 so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video now if you want to see all the cool new features of ios 18.3 i will have a video linked on the card right there where i just explain all the different features and changes that apple has brought to ios 18.3 otherwise that's it for this video thank you for watching leave a like if you enjoyed it of course subscribe for more ios 18.3 videos and i will see you on the next one